Control and Display Diagnostics. Press the light and water buttons at the same time to access the input diagnostic screen. Press any button on the control pad and a symbol of it will appear on the display graphic. This includes chair control buttons and flex arm brake sensors. If a symbol does not appear, the button is not working properly. Note, while performing diagnostics, none of the buttons will perform their normal functions. The three E-field sensors on the bottom of the unit can be checked from this screen. Press to test. A handpiece actuator's optical sensor input can also be tested from this screen. Pull an instrument from the holder and the display highlights its position. If it doesn't, the handpiece actuator's optical sensor is not working properly. Press the light and water buttons at the same time to continue. The unit has five display diagnostic screens. The gradient screen, shown here, appears when the display is working properly. There should be no visible colors, only very fine, faint banding. If the display is faulty, vertical bands and colors may appear. The color and number of bands may vary. Press the right or left arrows to change the screen. There are three color-rich screens that are used by the manufacturer to diagnose problems on returned goods. These are not intended for field diagnostics. A white screen is available to help you determine if obstructive dust or debris is present under the glass. Examine this screen for particles large enough to interfere with the display screens. To exit diagnostics, press the light and water buttons at the same time. 